Fish on. All right. And I tell you what, man, they are throttling it. <laughs> Sean. Hey, welcome back. We're going to be breaking down spoon fishing today. You know, throughout the winter months, chasing walleyes and perch, I do a lot of spoon fishing. But just kind of how and when and where and different types of spoons. There's a nice perch. Just different types of spoons and, and how I go about using spoons or picking out spoons or picking out colors. You know, that's really important. It changes from day to day. It also changes from spoon to spoon, whether I'm uh, looking for fish or if I found fish and landed on them I can kind of finesse fish but just how I go about going after fish with spoons. There he is. That one. I had to work that one. And that's the thing when you're spoon fishing there's a wide spectrum of spoons you know, obviously from heavy to flutter type of spoons like this, when I'm out searching for fish, I tend to use heavier spoons like buckshot spoons, uh, even the sliver spoons, which are a tungsten. And then you get into those, I would say, intermediate spoons where they're heavy, but they also glide like the buckshot glider spoon. Uh, you also have to think in the terms of early season and late. Later in the season, a buckshot is gonna fish real heavy, straight up and down. That's why I love it when I'm searching for fish because I can get to the bottom quickly, I can find out a fisher in the area. If they are, boom, we set up, and then I may switch to a, a flutter spoon or a macho mint or something like that. You know, regardless of spoon type or size, I almost always use a swivel. You know, a swivel's an important part of that spoon to prevent line twists, prevent that spoon from spinning down there. There's a lot of times you're really aggressive with the spoon, and then if you need to stop, it prevents that, that spoon from slowly spinning. It almost holds it still and uh, really, really creates a brighter presentation for you. Push on. All right, wow, great looking perch. Man, we've got a great mix of fish in this spot. We've got some walleyes, we've got some great big jumbos. You know, now that I've found this spot, I've talked in general terms about spoons and spoon fishing. Let's break down each individual spoon. I'll start with my searching spoons, my heavier type of spoons. We'll get outside, we'll show you how we got to this spot. And then also we'll get into the intermediate spoons, which I would consider kind of light, but uh, have quite a bit of action. But, um, and then just going down to the, the, the real light flutter spoon, kind of the, the light end of the spectrum and, and explain all those here in a second. Okay, once I've mapped out my spot, drilled my holes, you know, I, really what I wanna do is just fish fast. And uh, you know, the buckshot spoon fishes fast. You know, it gets down there quick, it doesn't dart off to the side, it gets down there quick. And I'm just jigging these. I might fish a hole for 30 seconds. I just want to find out how many fish are in this area before I set up. That did not take long. You know, that's what I love about a buckshot spoons, those heavier profile baits, whether it be a buckshot or what I would consider search bait is they get to the bottom quick. You can fish each hole really rapidly and then determine where you're gonna set up, especially if you're gonna set up a, a shack like we did today. Okay, let's jump back in the shelter here and I'll describe what I'm talking about as far as actions of bait. You know, obviously all these baits have radically different actions. So I usually base it on how the fish are reacting to my bait. For example, early in the season when the fish are extremely aggressive or if you're seeing them on your graph and they're extremely aggressive that day, I'll rely on these more aggressive type of spoons, whether it's a buckshot glider, uh, macho minnow, or of course the new buckshot flutter spoon. Uh, 
I like those baits because they have a lot of action, they have a lot of kick, um, a lot of personality, and, and if the fish are aggressive, I'll almost exclusively, boom, go right to those. However, if it's later in the season, the fish are really slow, they're coming up slow, I like the fish, you know, buckshot spoons, uh, forage minnows, or even the sliver spoon to get down there fast and then just fish them straight up and down. Those particular spoons in general, as you fish them, you can see, you know, on the camera or on your graph that they fish real heavy and straight up and down. Fish on. I like it. Well, hopefully that gives you some insight in how I go about spoon fishing, not only as a search tool, but obviously catching fish. So I hope this was informative for you. And guess what? I'm gonna go back to fishing and catch fish on spoons. Good luck everybody. As always, I'm Tony Roach and we'll see you on the water.